Hello friends, Tony here, welcome. Now you may heard about the Shatsian UI, about your component library, beautifully designed components that you can copy and paste into your application. Let's go to get started and let's see if we can add this on the Laravel project. So here we have some frameworks and also we have Laravel. Now, as you can see, we need to have inertia. So installing of your Laravel with inertia. And we have this command, so Laravel new, the name of the application, also add TypeScript, Breeze, and choose in Stack React with one command. Or you can, so let me open the warp, and let's say we create a Laravel project with this command, so Laravel new, and I'm going to say uh, shatcn dash UI, I'm going to name it this. Hit enter, I'm going to choose Laravel Breeze and let's choose React with Inertia. Dark mode and also TypeScript. Okay, hit enter. So we have created the Laravel project. I'm choosing Breeze with Inertia and React like this. What we need to do next is to run this Shatsian UI, so npx shatsian dash UI at latest. I'm going to copy that. Let's say SQLite here because we are not working with the database. Okay, so the project is ready. Let's see. Let's cd to Shatsian UI. And now here I'm going to say sudo and I'm going to paste this npx shatsian UI latest in it. Hit enter. We need to add the password and we are okay. Now it's going to have some prompts. Okay. I think we are good here. So would you like to use TypeScript? Yes. Uh, which style would you like to use? You have here default or New York. Let's say New York. Uh, which color would you like to use as a base color? Slate gray. I'm going to choose slate here. Where is your global CSS file? Now in our Laravel project, we know that is inside the resources slash CSS slash app dot CSS. Hit enter. Would you like to use uh, CSS variables for colors? So pri primary, uh, secondary and so on. Let's say yes. Uh, are you using a custom title and prefix? No. So leave it blank. Just hit enter. And where is your tiling.config.js located in Laravel is in the root directory. So I'm going to hit enter. And import alias for components. We have here at slash components. But if you want, don't want that, so the slash components is going to be for all components. And for example, for the Shatsian components, I'm going to say at slash Shatsian. Hit enter. Now, import alias for utils. I'm going to leave it as it is. So, add slash lib slash utils. Are you using React Server components? No. And write configuration to components.json? Yes. And we can configure. We can change later if we don't like as we have chosen right here. Now we are okay. Let's open this project. Uh, first, I'm going to open the project with VS Code. Hit enter. OK, and let's open the resources, JS, pages, and the welcome.tsx. OK, I'm going to choose to remove everything here. Leave only the head. And here I'm going to add uh, H1. And we're going to say welcome to your new Inertia application. Okay, save. And let's open the project now in the browser. So shotcn uitest Hit enter. And yeah, we have something like this. We have saved the file, but what we need is, or let me just open here the terminal. And we need to run the npm run that. Okay, 
now let's see if I refresh. Yeah, here it is the welcome to your in new inertia app. What if I change the color? So here I'm going to change the colors. So for example, text uh, yellow 300. Save. Let's come here. And as you can see, nothing changed here. And why is that? Uh, let's also open the Shadzian UI because here we have, if we scroll down, so the Shadzian UI CLI will automatically override the tilewind config.js file. So we need to update it. And here we have the example. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy only this one. And now let's open the tilewind config file in our project because here as you can see we have on the content we have pages uh, components app and source it's like for the next js so let's update that with this vendor laravel and so on storage framework views resources views blade php and all the files we have inside the resources js and all the files much of the tsx let's save that close and let's see on the browser if we open the Laravel project yeah now we have welcome to your new inertia app with yellow color okay let's see how to add a component because for that we have installed the Shadzia so you can now start adding components to your project and we are here we have an example with the button let's choose npm here I'm going to say sudo because it's going to add a file and a folder okay done now if we open the shadcm directory here we have the ui directory and inside we have this button dot tsx which is a react component okay I'm going to close that and now how we can use that we can just add this button component in the HTML. So I'm going to add after the H1 and let's add the div with a class name to be, for example, max width, because here we have Tidal CSS, so max width MD, and also I'm going to say MX auto like this, and then I'm going to add the button and also let's close the div now here we have underline error because we need to import the button and let's copy that go up here import also we need to remove that because we don't use the link right now we have an underline error because we cannot find module at slash components ui button because we change that to shadcn okay so we need to say shadcn here and let's save and let's see now if i open the project here we have a button good let's see another component so i'm going to say a card yeah let's copy this for the npm open the warp also hit enter good next we need to import all of that so i'm going to add here i'm going to remove the button now and we need to update this the shot cn and then let's go and copy this one and i'm going to add that let's close this i'm going to add that uh, when we have button and let's save this let's open the project and here we have the card title description content and so on let's go back and let's see a new one so i'm going to go to drop down menu so yeah we have something like this 
and this is for the default so we have new york which looks like this okay what we need is the copy this with npm and i'm going to choose warp here add drop down then we need to import So let's go up and replace this again, shot CN here and copy the drop down menu. And I'm going to replace the card now. Save, open the project. And here we have the drop down menu. Okay. Open, close, open. And let's open the Shatsian again. And you may say why we don't have the same thing we have here because here we have something else. So let me copy this and paste it here just to have the same thing. We have an example, change that and also the other to be shot CN. Next, we need to copy this drop down and replace the one we have here. Save, open the project and as you can see now also the button is looking like a button and if we open we have the same uh, drop down menu okay friends that's it all about this video i hope you enjoy and if you like don't forget to subscribe to my channel like the video share with your friends and see you in the next one all the best